We interrupt the scheduled programming to bring you an important news update. We now cross to Woody live at the scene. Woody, can you tell us exactly what has been happening lately? Thank you very much, Waterson. Um, as you can see, it is bedlam down there. It's absolutely hectic. I am, I am a mess. I, it's ridiculous. Christmas season has been just full on. I've had no time to edit any videos. I've had no time to film any videos. I've had a couple things in the works, but I just haven't had time to get to them. And when I have, I just haven't been working. We've refilmed the green screen. I don't know how many times. I've re-edited this episode. I don't know how many times. It's just, it's finally at a place where I feel like it's good enough for you guys to watch it, and I'm sorry if you've been waiting for this episode for so long, I really am sorry, but from now on there's going to be a lot more videos, a lot more content coming your way, and I just really appreciate the love and support you've given me so far. Oh, also, one more thing quickly, I apologise for the quality of the audio in the green screen past this episode, we tried something new, it didn't really work, we're going to have to try and fix it, but the, the audio is really poor and we're aware of that, please bear with us as we, uh, as we fix this, but for right now, now I really have to go. Uh, back, back to you, Woodison. And thank you very much, Woody. Please do take care. We now cross quickly to Chris with the current games forecast. Chris? Thank you, Woodison. Now today we had some great games around, uh, plenty of 64 games up north, spied some boxes for them as well. Down south we had a couple of Xbox games coming up, uh, very very decent titles. In the middle, Dreamcast game, very very nice, and unfortunately some bad weather over the other way with a crappy PS1 game coming. Uh, back to you Woodison. And thank you Stud. We now return you to your scheduled programming, I am Woodison Woodrow III and this has been The Morning Wood. This game is on the line. My card never works in this machine. Uh, I'm trying five more times, and then that's oh, it. it. So it actually just doesn't suck it in. It says, sorry, we're having trouble reading your card. There's a garage sale down the road that just sold a box nest for five dollars, and we missed it because I'm standing here, swiping my card in a broken machine. It is episode 12, and it's, what time is it? Early. It is. 8.13. 8.13. Early, Tyler says. <laughs> so Tyler's a collector as well. Well, he's an on and off collector. Well, I'm not really anymore. You've collected like, more, more hardcore yeah. than me in the past. Yeah, I collected for four years. So today, Chris is driving, which is kind of new and different because normally I'm the driver. Chris almost killed us! You got that on film? No, I got my yelling on film. Whoa! Whoa! So I don't know who taught Chris to drive, maybe he won his driver's license in a box of Kellogg's Corn Flakes, I don't know. But, either way, you're lucky you're getting this episode of the Game Quest. You asked me to drive, man. That's what happens. There's absolutely nothing wrong with my driving. Like, my driver's license did not come in a box of Corn Flakes. How okay. many curbs did you drive on? Just one. <laughs> So our big plan was to head down to Southern Games because they have a sale on at the moment, 60% off everything. And now we clear this place out, but we don't, we, we, uh, there's a lot of games I've left behind because they've been too expensive. If, if I can pick those up today, I'll be very happy. I know he's got some box 64 games. But to start with, we're hitting up some garage sales and... Nah. Soldier. What'd you sell? Game Boy. Yeah. Yesterday. What did you have for? I wasn't here. Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday was 
So Big Dave kind of let me down a little bit. He had a PlayStation One, but I had like five of those. Yeah. So like, like literally five. So um. Why do you have five? I can find them so cheap. I found two for five dollars, like two dollars fifty each. I would buy that. So would I, and I did. All right, that's fine. More garage sales. So, um, uh, it's horrible, but it's four dollars. It is often said to be one of the worst PS1 games. I'm actually more than that case, I'm glad I've got it. They sucked, they absolutely sucked. We hit up maybe 12 garage sales, Chris? At least 10. At least 10. <laughs> And how many were crap, Chris? <laughs> At least 10. At least 10. So that garage sale, for $2, I got this. And yeah, it's for the Commodore 64. I'm never going to play it, because I don't like Commodore. And I don't have a Commodore. But that box is a very nice looking box. How nice does that box look, Tyler? Oh yeah, it was swell. It's a swell looking box. How crap is the Commodore, Tyler? Very. <laughs> I think I picked up 007, well I don't think, I know I did, picked up 007 for the Commodore 64 and I only really got it because the box looks really nice and it looked good up on display. Oh yeah, it was swell. It was a swell looking box. I'm, I'm, I'm nothing against it if you guys like it. I got some pretty sweet games for it. It's just... So we get to the dump, right? There's the, this dude sells like secondhand stuff that he finds that people chuck away or whatever. And he, he always seems to get PS1 games, like every time there's new PS1 games there. And this time I find Spyro the Dragon. It's got no cover, no case. What you find, Chris? I found Spyro the Dragon, first one, on PlayStation 1. Broken cover and no book or anything. How much are you going to pay for it? I don't know. Have you asked about this before? No. no. But I have a feeling he's going to say $5. He always wants $5 for his games, every time. And he's pretty hard to haggle with, but I figure I'm going to give it a shot because I'm not paying $5 for this game. I get up there and I start haggling, and this time it feels like it's working. I'm getting there, I'm working him down, he's feeling the $3. And uh, Tyler, who we're out with today, he comes over and he asks, How much do you want for this one? And uh, so oh, he's asking five dollars for it, and before I can even say, but I'm trying to get it for free, for three, he says, "Oh yeah, that sounds fair." And yeah, it was blown. It was done. Um, I don't. Know, I didn't really want it anyway because it didn't have the cover and stuff. I kind of just wanted to play, but it was done. It was gone. The bright side of the story is for Christmas. I bought you Spyro. So you did. You have it now. I do. The first time you told that story was a lot more angry because you hadn't got your Spyro for Christmas to make up for it. That's right. I think you care a lot less now. I do. I mean, the Spyro I got is better. It is much better. So. Uh, it'd be nice to have a backup though. Pilot. Oh yeah, it was swell. So I don't want to go on about it because my show always seems to be, ah, you didn't get much here. But essentially the first three hours of our morning was crap. We didn't get anything, we got very little and we paid too much for what we even got. But, now we're going down. No, first, I'm lying. First we've got to go get food. We've got to go be fatties and get hungry jacks. Like we always freaking do. Every freaking episode we get hungries or macos or something fatty. We can't get anything healthy. So today's game hunting isn't going well so far. Not well at all. So, so far. Well, so far. Yeah. So I'm going to do a bit of a food quest segment. Inspired by the food chasers. What I have in my hand here is a sausage and omelette muffin from uh, Hungry Jack's, which is America's Burger King. Same franchise, different name. There you go. Some omelette there. Looks like they made it in store and it's not frozen. Got a nice bit of cheese. And it's... Um, Melted well. Bit of barbecue sauce in there. But uh, now for the main event.
omelette's kind of fluffy and nice. Your views are just skyrocketing at the moment. And bread's kind of chewy. Sauce hasn't got much kick to it. So, as far as brekkie muffins go, out of 10, I'd give this a solid, solid six and a half. This tree getting into the shot. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yes, adjust that sandwich. <laughs> adjust that sandwich. Welcome to the game the quest, <laughs> where we film with sandwiches and nothing makes sense. So after a morning of epic failure, of not finding anything, of spirits being diminished, of just being generally over today, we arrive at Southern Games and we see that big 60% off symbol and it's just like a holy grail shining, beckoning us into the store. 50% off sale! 64 games, GameCube games, NES games, NES games. At the moment, not in this episode, but at the moment he's got like 50 Sega Saturn games, all box complete, and they're all in really good condition. And for you who aren't in Australia who don't know, our Sega Saturn games come in big bulky cardboard cases, and to get them in good condition with manuals is just freaking glorious. <laughs> If it's five dollars. So it's time to make the rounds. I call them over, I get the first thing opened up. I pick up Shemu 2 and Spawn on Xbox. Two really great games. You had them marked at twelve dollars. I picked them both up for five dollars. I've wanted to play Shemu 2 ever since I saw Super Derek's review of it, and it even has this special bonus extra disc, which is amazing. Then we go around to the Dreamcast area and I pick up Buzz Lightyear on Dreamcast. It's been $18 here for longer than I can remember and I've, I've haggled him down to I think about $6 or $7 on it. A Dreamcast game in this good a condition for $6 or $7 is a great deal almost no matter what game it is. I can't think of a game with Dreamcast that wouldn't be worth that. We go down to the Atari section. And I pick up Sorcerer's Apprentice, Rampage, and Star Wars. Now his prices on these were ridiculously high, I think they were about $40 each. Maybe $40, $30, and $30. I got them for $7 each. This is an amazing haggling I'm getting right now. I'm just a kid in candy store. All these games that have been sat here for so long, and then... And then we look at the Raymond 2. Yeah. Raymond 2. Yeah, but for 55. We'll go half for us. Would you do 20? Yeah, done. Grab it. So I went home with a boxed complete Raymond 2 for $20. Plus everything else I've got here. And even Chris got something. How much would it be on that one? Yeah. Cool. yeah. So while Woody's doing the rounds, I'm keeping my eye out as well, and I see Star Wars Shadows of the Empire on 64. It might have been $13.50, but with the sale, that doesn't mean anything. In the end, he went $6 on it, so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, another one to my very small, at the moment, 64 collection. So 20, 20, that's not cross. Um, and that was five each. How much were they? Seven inch. Oh, that's not good. All right, so we got a really good deal here. We we packaged it all up, and it came to something really ridiculously cheap. I don't even remember the price. It was something like, what, 5 plus 5 plus 7-ish plus... Oh, I'm not doing that, Matt. It was cheap. We're standing here, and then at the corner of my eye, I see the NES games. And I didn't notice them at first. I don't know how I missed them. He's moved them recently. And Totally Rad was sat there at the top. And I've been, lo I've been looking at Totally Rad for a while. Not looking for, looking at. But it's always been 10, 15, 20, and it's, it's a great game. But, I mean, come on.
know what that game is? You know, you know what it is? It's totally rad. Oh, I didn't see that one coming. Just a random question. You've got rad gravity, uh, rad, totally rad in there for 15. Did you do five? And this copy of Totally Rad is probably the, the just the best conditioned nest game I've ever seen. Like, ever. Ever. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I have games that I consider mint, but this is just... It's like someone's just taken it out of their box to complete, put it on the shelf carefully, then walked away with their box. It's that good. Thank you. So we're at Cashies now, we're not allowed to film at Cashies. So, we're gonna have to let you know how it goes. If Chris can manage to park. Shut up. Shut up. It's hard. That's what she said. <laughs> oh yeah, it was swell. It was a swell looking box. So the day's done. We spent all of our money. Well, I mean, I spent all of my money. And now we're going to head to cash converters on the way home, purely because it is on the way home. So remember that one time that we came out and we bought all those Dreamcast games? That happened right here. Right here. Now let's go buy another 40 Dreamcast games. So Woody may have spent all his money, but I barely started spending mine. So I'm looking at the Wii's, uh, they're marked at 40 and uh, Woody helps me out with the haggle and he gets them down to 30. They have a black one there, a little bit beat up, but I'm like, yeah, you know what, it's a good deal. I, I need a Wii so I can play GameCube games and I guess Wii games as well. Alright, well, we didn't get anything in there. Oh, wait, except for that. So Chris actually bought something this time. I did. And uh, you want to say anything about that, Chris? Uh, well, I was looking at the Wii's and... I was about to buy one, but then Woody pointed this out that I didn't even notice. I don't know how I didn't notice it. It's huge. That's what she said. But it's got everything in there. Looks really good. So Picked it up for 60? 60, yeah. That's a really good price because they're yeah. really hard to find now. And straight off the bat, I'm just like, yep. Well, maybe not straight off the bat. Woody talked me into it. But I was like, yeah, I'll grab it. And um, yeah, now I have a Wii. And I'm really jealous of the black Wii because I wanted one of those for a long time. Yeah. So, did well, Chris. Thank you. We both did well today. We spent a lot today. We did. I didn't spend anything. Good <laughs> job, Tyler. <laughs> We hope you had a very happy and Merry Christmas. We are sorry that this episode came late because there was so many issues. Yeah. <laughs> and then we decided to do something different at the end and use a different camera. So we're hoping this quality of this camera looks a lot better. So the quality of the game quest is hopefully going to be going up if this one. Hopefully. Hopefully. It'll be good. We'll see what happens. But we do hope you had a Merry Christmas. I don't know when this will be up. Christmas is probably a few days ago. If it's not New Year yet, Happy New Year. If it is, then it's still Happy New Year. Happy it's New Year! Still the new year. <laughs> it's still the New Year. What, what's your New Year's resolution? Buy more games. <laughs> I think mine is actually to save more money, so I'm on, <laughs> I'm on the other end. But uh, we'll see you soon. Episode 13 is coming soon. Wave, wave it out. Wave it out as the screen goes black. See ya. See ya later. <laughs>